I want to welcome Dr. Cooper to the table. Um, I don't know you, but I have heard good things about you. I'm looking forward to whatever positivity, change, independence, and power that you can bring to the district, because we need that. So really for me, whoever's in that seat, that's what I want to see. Um, I wanted to ask Madam President, um, last week or maybe the week prior, you had mentioned that we had perhaps closed the gap on your $8 million. If I misheard you, I wasn't alone, but I was wondering if someone could elaborate on that um, statement. The other thing was, um, I didn't see the Vice President for uh, Planning for the Academy of the Arts on the bring back list, so I wanted to know. She's tenured. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Thank you, because that was a concern. Um, and I do know she's out there, but the wrong things, so I just wanted to bring that up. Uh, as far as the before and after care program, do you have a time frame regarding uh, the diligence that you're going to do in reference to whether it's going to work or not for this year? Do you have any other questions? You want to go through the list? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the other thing was, um, I said the program, take me up. How many teachers were not brought back? And is there a time frame for them as well? Meaning, I know you have you spoke to the one um, young lady and said that there may be some other people that will be brought back. So I'm just, you know, concerned. How much longer is that process going to be before we know or they know, their families know who we're losing, who we're retaining, etc. And I do believe that is all that I had as far as those questions were concerned. I'm happy to hear that we're getting some money. The 2.4 million, um, is that going to help with the possible deficit that we still have? So I know there's a lot of questions, so I'll just pause for a second. So in terms of the before and after school program, we need to work on that immediately because that's something that needs to happen in terms of registration and all of the logistics funding. So we're gonna be working on that immediately. Um, Ms. Spence is sending me over that information that she has had with uh, Dr. Sherrard so that I can review it because it's a budget and everything. So right now, I will say that the budget that she told me that's needed to run the program, which was about 900,000, is not something that we can collect from students and parents and families, which is why I said we probably have to scale it down either to some type of pilots or something, but we will do something, just what that something will look like. So I'm um, also, you know, other people who were a part of that, welcome to come and be a part of the conversation so that we can do that very, very quickly. So um, hopefully she'll have that to me um, by tomorrow and then we'll begin to start planning for that. The other thing with regard to the teachers brought back all of the instructional teachers, meaning classroom teachers, and instructional teachers are a lot of people, it's also the physical education, art, music, and all those things. All of the classroom teachers that were on the list for not renewed, who were recommended to be brought back by the principals and through HR and through the business office, all of those people were brought back on this agenda. Okay, um, there are some other things that we have to look at in terms of still figuring it out with the number of specialists covering schools and things like that. So there may be a couple of those type of positions. And when I say specialists, I'm talking about art, musical, physical education, those type of things. But all of the content area teachers, art, not art, literacy, math, science, social studies, all of those teachers who were not renewed and were recommended by the principals to be brought back have been either included on the last agenda or this current agenda. 